Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about context switch. Context switch is a process of giving control of CPU from one process to another process. To understand this, let's dive into more detail. This is your CPU and there are processes P1, P2 which are in queue to be executed. So P1 takes over the control of CPU and it executes for time T1 and after it gets executed what it is going to do is it's going to get saved again to be executed later and then the process P2 will take over for time T2. So this changing of uh, uh, processes by the CPU is what is context switch. So to understand in a clear way, let's uh, let's dive into the, the detailed steps. Steps in context switch. So the very first thing is uh, there, uh, there. Suppose there is a process P1 running for a time duration T1. The time duration here is the time slice. So this process is running. Then when T1 is over, the context of the process P1 will be saved here in the PCB. PCB is process control block. So when the time duration of uh, process P1 is over, all the details required to restore the process again by the CPU is saved in PCB. So T1 is over, then P1 context is saved in PCB. After this, the kernel takes over and it does uh, whatever uh, the requirement comes to it. So the kernel do its job, maybe a disk access or a hardware driver uh, drive load uh, requirement or any kind of job that it needs to be done. The kernel executes that and then again the kernel uh, the kernel decides which process to give uh, control of CPU. Then suppose the process P2 which is being allotted the time slice T2 is given is allotted to use the CPU. So this will be given the CPU for time duration T2 and then this process will uh, take over and executes when T2 is over the context of the context of p2 will be saved again here for later execution and if required p1 will be again selected for time duration t3 so here the process is using the same cpu different processes p1 p2 p3 are using the same cpu for different fraction of time and those time are known as uh, time slice. So here this switching of processes uh, between uh, uh, switching of these processes is what context switches. Now there could be a cases when uh, when uh, the context switch may happen. So when CS happens. First case is multitasking. So whenever there are there needs to be many processes which needs to be run concurrently or you know one by one uh, and uh, all the process should be keep on running as as it appears they are running concurrently in that case uh, the context switch comes into existence so p1 and p2 are the process which needs to be run you know uh, back to back so that uh, the user seems like they are running uh, the user should show that uh, should see that they are running uh, simultaneously 
in that case both of the processes will use the cpu for you know very uh, a very less or very minute fraction of time and it will appear like that they are there the cpu is doing multitasking then there could be a case when uh, there is some interrupt so whenever an interrupt come like a disk access or any hardware changes uh, so these kinds uh, any kind of these uh, interrupt may lead to uh, context switch when the kernel takes over uh, the CPU and the process and its context is uh, saved to PCB. Then there could be a case when uh, user kernel switch happens. So uh, so wherever whenever the process uh, uh, the the CPU uh, the, when the kernel takes over the CPU and when the pro user process uh, takes over the CPU uh, during this also the context switch is happening and uh, so these are the three cases when the context switch may happens I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe to keep us motivated thank you thanks for watching